Hello friends, this is Mrs. Cassidy, and today I am going to read the book, The Incredible Painting of Felix Clouseau, written and illustrated by John Agee. In Paris, the Royal Palace was holding its grand contest of art. From all over the city, painters came to show their pictures. One of them was an unknown painter named Felix Clouseau. All the great artists were there. Gaston Dustroganoff showed the king on his throne. Felicien Café Olé showed the king on horseback. Alphonse de Camembert showed the king in armor. Then, Clouseau showed his painting. Outrageous, the judges cried. Never had they seen such a ridiculous painting. Then suddenly, quack, a sound came from the painting. The judges were stunned. Clouseau was awarded the grand prize. They called him a genius. It was the first time in history a painting had quacked. But that was only half of it. Clouseau became famous. He was hailed from one side of Paris to the other. Even the king commissioned a painting. But soon there was trouble. A wealthy baroness owned a Clouseau painting called the Sleeping Boa Constrictor. One night, it awoke. In fact, wherever there was a Clouseau canvas, there was chaos. The public was furious. There were damages somebody had to pay. So Clouseau was sent to prison. Clouseau's paintings were seized, all except one. Meanwhile, a notorious jewel thief was on the loose. All over Paris, diamonds, emeralds, and sapphires were missing. One night, the thief broke into the king's palace to steal the crown. The next morning, to the king's surprise, he found the thief caught in the grasp of a ferocious dog. The crown was saved. Clouseau was a hero. He was awarded the Medal of Honor, released from prison, and he went back to his studio. and return to his painting. The end. Do you think it was fair for the judges to assume that Clouseau's painting was bad because he wasn't famous yet? What makes a painting good? Does it have to look as real as possible, like Clouseau's work? Is it okay for people to like different paintings? I think it is. What do you like? What type of art? What type of paintings do you like? I think you should look around you and look at the art around you and think about what really speaks to you and what type of art and what type of painting you really like. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time for story time.